Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products and Focus. So, most global equity markets uh, recovered slightly at the end of the session, apart from the US market, which actually traded down, traded up, then traded right back down again by the by the end of the session, down about 350 points in the end, uh, trading below 17,747. Yeah, Next potential support is 17,561, with the market kind of flatlining right now. Uh, news overnight, um, not so much more about Greece, but more so about China again. Main markets were down about 4.5% over in China. There's multiple indices out there. Their version of the Nasdaq was down 7.5% yesterday, down another 4.5% again today. Um, to put it in context, there's about 5 million people live in Greece. There's obviously 1.4 billion people that live in China, so their stock market is maybe a little bit bigger. In fact, the, the movement that we saw yesterday alone the amount of money that got wiped off the Chinese stock exchanges was around about $2.1 trillion, which is the entire market cap of uh, their French CAC. So that maybe gives you a bit of an idea, but uh, people probably should be having a bit more look at how China is doing. And uh, obviously Greece is very, very important, but um, it seems to be that people are, are, are not looking in the right direction as to where the biggest concern is going to be, because this sell-off in China is only just beginning. It's down, some of those markets down 30% from June. That's huge, big moves that we're seeing. There's a lot of wealth being eradicated. And, you know, obviously there's a lot of people buying stuff in China, not just in China, but all over the world. So that does stand to uh, to have an impact further on down the line. So really ugly technical signals on the US 30. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen a candle that looks like, what, uh, that looks like this that we got yesterday. And today we've not seen any massive bounce on the upside. So looking at the UK 100, Again, very volatile session, a very unusual candle, still had positive territory in, uh, by the end of the session, but we were all the way up here. We, en we ended below potential support 65.59, and uh, we're still below it right now, uh, looking a little bit sheepish right first thing this morning. Uh, German DAX up about uh, 0.7 of a percent, but still it's not looking that uh, amazing either, to be honest. Looking at Japan to 2.5, uh, gap down, trade uh, closed at the bottom of its range, uh, but not as aggressive as some of the other uh, indices that we've seen. <coughs> but we have seen a bounce of potential support at 20,087, which also coincides with that 55 period SMA, with uh, dollar yen now down at 122. We have seen some yen buying, but not incredible amounts. Again, not a lot of safe haven buying on gold either, that's still trading below $1,200. Uh, with all this uncertainty, we thought that the safe havens would be getting more of a spike in the right direction, but they're not, which is uh, which is quite interesting. But 121.87 is potential support, and that also will coincide with the 55 period SMA. Moving on to West Texas crude, it's all about crimped oil demand, which obviously, with everything that's going on right now, uh, that's not surprising. Uh, I, I, I move lower. $57 is the next potential support, and I think it does look uh, quite clear that there is a short-term potential uh, resistance at 61.80 should we get back up to there at any point soon. Moving on to gold, uh, as I said, not really doing a huge amount, even though we did have a spike yesterday, failed to capitalize on that move. Uh, down again today, 11.86 is a potential support, but I think it's very interesting uh, that yen and gold have not been huge buys with all this uncertainty that's been swirling around. So the euro, uh, I think this is probably the biggest intraday turnaround in history on the euro dollar. I've not seen the market gap so extensively to then rally so strongly. Uh, a very strange candle again to get uh, for a gap and then it to close even above the previous day's candle altogether is quite incredible. Now, it's not followed through with a lot of positive momentum this morning. Uh, we did. I think a lot of this was due to the Swiss National Bank intervening against the euro yesterday, which I think kind of saved a lot of the markets from getting completely smashed. Uh, but maybe this candle is rather uh, artificial right now. But nevertheless, euro dollar traded um, below the high of the previous day, um, back up towards one spot, uh, 12. But we are selling off a little bit this morning, but it's not really that aggressive considering. So looking at uh, sterling, uh, volatile session again, but most importantly right now trading below 157.43 next potential support one spot 56 so in regards to economic data we're still waiting for more news about greece that referendum due now on friday uh, sunday sorry the 5th of july um they're obviously going to miss the payment for the imf greece um so that's by the by 
And uh, I think with all the queues for cash machines and petrol stations and supermarkets, that any referendum is pretty much going to say yes. Well, I hope it says yes anyway, if they if they, they are going to go for a referendum, because a no vote basically would mean that Greece will leave the euro. Um, but yes, vote would mean that the current uh, Shariza government will have to leave. Uh, and there'll be new, re- new elections and they'll probably just be back to where they start, depending on who they get in uh, to run the country. Um, so other economic data-wise, you've got uh, UK GDP due at 9.30 this morning. Uh, that should be important. And then CCI from the US. And then on Wednesday, you've got PMI from China, Germany, Eurozone, UK and ADP private payrolls. And I believe that we might even have non-farm payrolls on Thursday this week. So not on Friday because it's Bank um, 4th of July weekend holiday. So remember, non-farm payrolls is on Thursday at 1.30. Keep your eye on the chart form, guys, as ever. Make insights part of your late going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.